The shooting in that first quarter was white hot. It's got to be hard to think these teams can keep up that pace in the second. The pace of this game has been prolific. As a fan, I love to watch. As a coach, I would be pulling my hair out. These players would drive me crazy. I need to see some defense, please. I don't want to ask this question. What hair? Why would you ask it, then, if you don't want to ask? Just go in there. Okay. Well, you went there. Boston with the basketball. Now a steal by Milwaukee. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. And finishes strong. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game. Not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. And score, strong take. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Giannis in control of the basketball. It's an eight-point lead. Couldn't keep it in. Last touch by Giannis Adetokounmpo. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. To Marcus Smart. Here comes the screen. Giannis Adetokounmpo sends it away. Just incredible timing on that slot. Oh, he's denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. time to Marcus Smart Serge Ibaka sends it away oh he blocked that with authority to Adetokounmpo Jalen Brown snatching it out of the air that kid can block out the sun Ed. and counted at the rims it's almost like he had the defender on a string, and he's the puppet master. <laughs> Hill to Matthews. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Brown with the three, with a hand in his face. As a defender, you should take it personally when a contested three goes in. That's good defense, but it's not good enough. The Bucks at the controls. Ideta Kunbo to Ibaka. George Hill to Ideta Kunbo. And a chance coming up at the line. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Giannis Adetokounmpo, a couple of free throws on the way. He's perfect from the line so far. Nope, first one does not go. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. Brown into the front court. Down six. Screen coming. To Marcus Smart. From the painted area, won't go down. Right, right, right. To Jalen Brown. Spins and scores. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. To Adeta Kunbo. Oh, pass taken away by the Celtics. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. 
You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Short jumper won't fall. Hill across the timeline. Up six. To Matthews. Kunbo. Hill. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Oh, defender pulls the chair. Brown with it up top. Nine-point margin. 4-3. Bucks have the rebound. Hill into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Great defense there. Forcing the pickup. Ibaka. Gets it in the right corner. Hill buries it on the catch and shoot. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. A couple of cracks at the line now. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. Oops. He missed the first one. Good bounce back. Kits to second. It's a one of two trip. Bucks basketball. Ideta Kunbo to Holiday. Off the assist. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Holiday controls the basketball. The advantage is 13 points. To Ibaka. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. To Jalen Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown above the rim. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. Oh, whistle. And you can't lunge like that. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots, each and every one of them. Knocks down the first. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Tatum. Not getting the bounce. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. And he's going to the line to shoot. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Mark is smart. He's got two shots coming. Shoots it at 75% for his career. Connect on the first free throw. Miss the second. 0 for 2. Milwaukee with the basketball. Holiday to Adeta Kunbo. Here comes the screen. Slams it down. 
He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Tatum. Rebounds pulled in by the Bucks. Giannis with it up top. His guys holding the big lead. To Ibaka. Serge Ibaka slams it down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Knocked loose. Couldn't keep it in. Out of bounds off Jalen Brown. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Bucks at the controls. Get the cameras out. Flash on. That's going to make a nice poster. To Ibaka. Serge Ibaka. Three for three in this first half. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Here comes the screen. Tatum. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Holiday in possession. His guys hold a commanding lead. Matthews gets a look. Can't hit. Giannis! Oh! And he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. From long range, tough shot there for Jalen Brown. No good. To Adeta Kumbo. That is great vision to set it up. Wesley Matthews above the rim. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the... ...type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. pass and the Bucks have it. Keep your foot on the gas, but don't get too reckless. Bucks at the controls. Ideta Kunbo. Oh, good work to step in front. The pass taken away. Giannis Ideta Kunbo pins it. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. And stuffs it down. Good luck keeping up with that. Did you see that jump? It was as quick as a pogo stick. To Ibaka. And a pass stolen by Boston. Oh, he had it. Holiday controls the basketball. He'll run the offense. Ideta Kunbo to Allen. Cashes in for two. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league 
was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. And draws the foul. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. Jalen Brown at the line for two shots. A career 65% free throw shooter. And he connects on the first free throw. Can't connect on the second. And he splits the pair. To Jalen Brown. Going to launch beyond the arc. And he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's an even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have to earn it now. Jalen Brown is going to get three shots here. Shooting 50%. Some yes, some no in this contest. Misses the first. Second and three is good. Slight practice. To Ibaka. Al Horford with a piece. Bucks recover. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Celtics have it. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Around the perimeter to Jalen Brown. Beyond the arc for three. Chance at three here. At this juncture, he's shooting 60% from the line. First one, count it. It's a second. One more coming. Hits all three free throws. Walk that time. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game. Not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Now the Bucks going to signal for a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. The Bucks at the controls. Holiday. Here we go. Here we go. Not loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bucks. Matthews. To Ibaka. Slam dunk. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Hey, lock up, lock up. Knocked loose, picked up by the Bucks. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Serge Ibaka. He's now five for six. Serge Ibaka has such a good jump shot for somebody 6'10". 
But every time I hear his name, I just can't help but think about what would have been an OKC. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Not that time. He misses. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. 